And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado State's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you play them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. Makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. To that quickly, and he's taken down right around the 48 yard line. Number 27 brings him down to the 48 yard line. First down. Ready! Hot, hot! Green 45! Ready! He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 47. Ready. Black and Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. Tackle at about the 49. Four yards gain. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage Ready. of the defense starting Black to cheat up. Steps out at the 47 yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Hits him hard at the 29-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go. East, east, east. Buffalo, Buffalo. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Set. Oklahoma! Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 31. The 39. Gain of eight yards. That, that makes, makes it third and three. Green. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. 
It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, second down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. The penalty pushes them back even more. It makes it third down and 15. Red 18! Red 18! Quick toss. And this one's going to get intercepted. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From their own 25-yard line, it's first down. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 17-yard line, third down. And he's going to be sacked. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 41. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. And the question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. It's second and five here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ready! Black 55! Black 55! We've played one. Now this one's scoreless. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. four-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. 
out to around the 12. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First and 10, ball on the 12 yard line. Let's go! Black and hot! He makes it to the nine. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Touchdown, Colorado State. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 40-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. to the back and hit hard for a loss. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And they get the sack. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of him. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. They come out on an empty backfield. Ready! He sails it long. This one will fall incomplete, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He really got a hold of that one. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Colorado State is up by a touchdown. Brought down at the 44. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Second and two. Big opening, and down he goes, right around the 34. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Check number six, check number six. Come on, come on, D. Let's go! What? They'll give it off here. Tackle for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 37. Here we go. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Colorado State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal.
They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. First down grab by the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start offense. offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out Still there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. Okay. down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun he's hit and taken down there's very good chemistry between these two they like to run through all their routes before the game and i have to say they look sharp before this one even started they'll line up with five wide receivers Immediately tackled. Fresno State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Here's the eighth play of the series. The 10, it's on the ground. The defense scoops it. Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wide out, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made at about the nine-yard line. They line up at the nine. Second down. yard line they complete the slant good for 10 you leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage and that time he paid for being a step behind the receiver well we played a half of football Colorado State's got a 10-point lead hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites 
Davis, David Pollack here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This first half could be much more than just 30 minutes of football. The adage is one game at a time, no game more important than any other game. You get the feeling that this game could make a team season and destroy the other team's season. No doubt about it, and for both reasons. But when you look on the one side, the positive side, sometimes it takes you pulling that big upset, that big win, to believe in yourself. And I remember back when I was at Georgia, my freshman year, we'd go to Knoxville and beat Tennessee. First year with Coach Rick, and you didn't think that you could do it. You know, he, he kept preaching to you how good your team was, but you didn't believe it until you beat a team that was much better than you. So you can definitely take this and launch as a program, continue to take that step and go to the next level, especially when you're a big underdog. We could step on somebody's face with a hobnail boot and break their nose. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Rams continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Incomplete one of his receiver. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Ah! Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And they're coming after this punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Not a bad return. They're ready to begin another drive. Wide open, but it falls incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Number 25 was the intended receiver. Second and 10. Ball on the 46. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 34 makes the set call. The 41 yard line. First down. Here we go. Here's a running play. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. Set him up with a first and goal. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. 
Let's go! Blackhawk! Hand off up the middle. There he goes! Nice gain as he works the right side. Hard of gain of six yards. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Rams! He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. Second and 12. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide out. He's scrambling. Fumble! Scooped up by the defense. Tackle at the 26. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 31-yard line. Let's go! Jack, Jack! Patriot! Patriot! Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. About five yards that time on the throw. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Get off the field. Ready! Green behind! He's all the way! Touchdown! so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Let's go! 
he gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He goes out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Brought down, nothing doing. A couple of yards at most on that pass. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 23. Fresno State's been throwing the punches, and they're all landing right now. You're telling me, Brad, just an incredible effort in all three phases, and they're sitting on this comfortable lead with a quarter to go. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Ready! And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Yard line. Nice play. Good job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with the route because he knows his quarterback has the arm strength to get it there. So the big gain resulting from the pass play Two leaves us with a first and ten. We own them. We own them. Here Keep we go. Team. Keep Keep ready. 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 Nice run there. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. Four-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. That makes it first and 10. Ready! 50. And they push him out at the 27. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and six. the 26-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. He heaves it to the end zone. Doesn't get there. Number two was the intended receiver on the way. That'll bring up fourth and five.
kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 27 to nothing, Colorado State. Number Colorado State lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Colorado State's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Uh, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively. And what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. It's great technique, he's in position, he knocked that football away, and it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. And he's tackled at the 30. He's under pressure. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Got a man. Watch out here. Just under three to go in regulation. Strike to his receiver, no good. Tenth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. He scrambles. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Fresno State. What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run, and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. You know, there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an onside kick, but Still kicking the ball out of bounds is one of the last things you'd be worried about. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. Make it so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. On the run, right side. Nice run there as they work the outside. Just under two minutes in the game. 59 Philly! 59 Philly! Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Good out 
outside run there. Nice third down yardage off the option, and more importantly, enough for a new set of downs. First and ten. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Ready, green, 19, green, 19. Hot. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. That's a good one. That'll make it second and seven. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27 to 7, Colorado State. And the Fresno State Bulldogs. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.